in one of my recent videos, hot UFO or hot greenhouse gas, we used this uh, Raychem heat shrink hot air gun to uh, test uh, whether or not you could see hot air with an infrared thermal camera, and if not, whether or not you could see uh, hot CO2 by spraying carbon dioxide directly out of this little bicycle tire inflator right directly into the intake. And it looked like we could see it a difference. You can't see the hot air because the green, the normal Earth's atmosphere does not have greenhouse gases to enough of an extent to see it. Uh, oxygen, nitrogen, and argon don't absorb infrared or emit infrared. So anyway, I uh, had some pro problems with that because I was concerned about this icy blast because when the carbon dioxide comes out of this uh, little cylinder here, it's basically spraying dry ice into here. So I thought, well, I wonder if that's impacting it. So what I decided to do was get a, a different hot air gun. This is a Seek One heat gun. It goes up to 1,000 degrees F. And uh, the intake here is right around these little vents right here. <clears throat> what I've done is set up this uh, little plastic container so I can basically put uh, CO2 or water vapor or want directly into here, basically flood this uh, with the gas I'm interested in, primarily which is CO2. And then to avoid the problem with the uh, icy cold CO2 and flakes of dry ice, what I'm going to do is I've got this little valve right here and uh, hooked it up to a balloon. And uh, this has just got compressed air in it. But what I'm going to do is take one of these little tire inflators, fill the balloon with the CO2, let it warm up. Of course, it should expand a little bit. Now, I don't think the balloon will hold the CO2 for very long, but uh, probably long enough to do what we're going to do. Let it warm up to room temperature, and then let that go into this container on the bottom of the heat gun and flood the intake of the heat gun with more room temperature CO2, and we'll see what that does. So. We'll go ahead and set up that experiment and see what it looks like. We're going to do a split screen thermal image along with the visible so you can see the, what they look like side by side. Okay, as I've done in previous experiments, this piece of plywood back here, I've uh, damp, dampened it with a wet sponge, have more of a uniform cool surface. I filled the balloon here with carbon dioxide a few minutes ago. We're going to turn on the hot air gun. And uh, I've got it set for maximum temperature. As we've shown in the past, you don't see hot air with thermal imaging. Okay, we'll let that heat up for a minute, then I'll, I'll put the carbon dioxide, flood this container down here with it, and we'll see what that does. Okay, so well, that makes it pretty clear. No question you can see that. All right, we're gonna stop this and try another experiment with uh, steam, see what that looks like. Okay, got the steam generator warmed up. You get a shot just in there. You can see that very easily. I'm going to squirt this into the, that container where I put the carbon dioxide and see if we see anything. Don't see anything coming out. The, well, if we do, it's a, maybe a little bit.
I'm going to try spraying this directly into the hot air output and we'll see what that does. Well, you can definitely see it. It appears that uh, you can see droplets of water from the steam, but not water vapor. Not sure exactly why, but uh, the uh, when, when you spray the steam into the hot air gun or into the hot air stream, it's not real visible, but you do see the hot droplets of water like you have with water that's shooting out with the uh, steam. So, hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please like the uh, video and subscribe and this is just one more look at the hot co2 coming out of the hot air gun thought you would enjoy that thank you